So I'm doing more JoJo stuff. Uh, last time I made some figurines, but this time I'm making some cosplays. I'm planning on doing both Johnny Joestar and Jairus Apelli, both from part 7. Um, however, I'm not too experienced when it comes to just making clothes. So for this video I'm just going to be focusing on Johnny, since of the two he has the most basic design. And uh, I don't care about him as much as I do Gyro, so uh, Johnny's going to be my uh, guinea pig. For those of you who don't know, to make something out of fabric you need something called a pattern. Thankfully to make a pattern it's pretty simple, uh, you just need some clothes that you want to replicate. Then once you've got your clothes you just want to turn them inside out and then just trace all the seams onto a piece of paper. And there you go, now you've got some fancy patterns that you can use until you lose them. Then after that you can just cut your patterns out of your fabric of choice. Speaking of which, here's the fabric that I have chosen. Uh, I've got this white fabric that looks like this and is about yay thick. And for the pants I've got this other fabric that's blue and it, it looks like this and it's a... Uh, it's about that thick. Oh yeah, right, um, I'm making the blue and white Johnny, uh, by the way. Anyway, cutting the fabric is easy, you just want to make sure that you orientate the patterns in the right way. So if you're like me, and you got two-way stretch fabric, you want to make sure that the stretch runs from left to right and not up and down. This actually lets you take advantage of the stretch, so the clothing is less restrictive. However, if you're truly like me, you'll completely ignore that and end up with a shirt that doesn't shirt well. So yeah, just make sure to orientate your patterns correctly. Sewing is the next step in the whole process. So that's what I did. I sewed it. Now if that's done, it's time to add some paint. Starting with the stars, I printed out this little star template, which I then taped onto the fabric and filled with paint. The blue stars on the white fabric turned out really well, but the pink stars on the blue fabric not so much. I also did a similar thing for the horse on the beanie. And I, I mean, if you squint really hard, it doesn't look that bad. And then for the lines on the shirt, I just used some tape and more paint. And now for the finishing touches, I placed the hearts and horseshoe where they were meant to go. The hearts I attached with a little bit of hot glue, while the horseshoe I just kind of stitched it in. Okay, well, that's it. Here we go. That's, that's what it looks like. It's, it's Johnny. It's not, not the best thing in the world, but at least it looks like Johnny, so it's not that bad, I suppose. Um, let's just hope I can do Gyro a lot better. 